The civil rights movement, which reached its height in the 1960s, was a global set of political groups advocating for equality before the law. Ensuring that everyone's rights, especially those of minorities and women, are equally safeguarded by the law was a major goal of the civil rights campaigns. There has been a pressing need to safeguard and uphold people's civil rights ever since the first slaves came from Africa in 1619. Congress outlawed the importing of slaves from Africa in 1808. The Emancipation Proclamation, issued by President Lincoln in 1863, said that all persons held as slaves in the Confederate States are and henceforth shall be free. In Brown v. Board of Education of Topeka, Kansas, on May 17, 1954, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that racial segregation in schools was unconstitutional. It invalidated the separate but equal principle established in Plessy v. Ferguson. Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat at the front of the bus's colored section to a white passenger on December 1, 1955. The black community in Montgomery successfully organized a year-long bus boycott in reaction to her incarceration. On December 21, 1956, Montgomery's buses were desegregated under the leadership of Martin Luther King Jr. The mid-1950s saw the beginning of a number of movements that lasted until the late 1960s. A civil rights organization called the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, SCLC, was founded by Fred L. Shuttlesworth, Charles K. Steele, and Martin Luther King Jr. by 1957. Dr. King was elected as its first president. He urged African Americans to take use of their civil rights. The Civil Rights Act, which guaranteed African Americans the ability to exercise their right to vote, was approved later that year. In spite of this, opposition white folks at Little Rock Central High School refused to admit nine black pupils. When he imposed integration, President Dwight Eisenhower ended the Little Nine Rock Dispute of 1957. Black and white freedom riders began taking buses in 1961 to see if integration was occurring. One of the organizers of the 1964 Freedom Summer Campaign, which encouraged as many African Americans as possible in Mississippi to register to vote, was civil activist Fannie Lou Homer. The greatest protest ever witnessed in the nation's capital takes place on August 28, 1963, when around 250,000 people participate in the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom. Dr. King made his well-known address, I Have a Dream. Civil rights legislation gained momentum as a result of the march. Birmingham, Alabama anti-segregation demonstrations resulted in the arrest and imprisonment of Martin Luther King Jr. In his letter, Letter from Birmingham Jail, he promoted civil disobedience that is nonviolent. President John F. Kennedy encouraged Congress to enact the Civil Rights Bill, which outlawed discrimination and segregation based on gender, color, or nationality when he and Dr. King met. President JFK was shot and killed on November 22, 1963, in Dallas, Texas, while driving in a motorcade. The legislation was not ratified. The 1964 Civil Rights Act was passed under President Lyndon B. Johnson's administration. It outlawed segregation and discrimination. Additionally, the minority community's right to vote was declared. After founding the organization of Afro-American Unity, Malcolm X, a former adherent of Elijah Muhammad, the head of the Nation of Islam in the United States, was slain on February 21, 1965. African Americans' greatest opponent, according to the organization of Afro-American Unity, is racism. Malcolm X was thought to have been shot to death by Nation of Islam members. 
John Lewis coordinated the first Selma Freedom March, which took place on March 7, 1965. The protest became known as Bloody Sunday as it ended violently. The Voting Rights Act became a law on August 6, 1965. In the process, the statute made it possible to secure African Americans' ability to vote and outlaw literacy tests. There were racial riots in 1965 and 1967. The Los Angeles Watts riots broke out on August 11, 1965. The Detroit and Newark riots occurred after it. The Black Panthers were established in 1966 by Huey P. Newton and Bobby Seale with the goal of using armed revolution to liberalize African Americans. James Earl Ray killed Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. in the Lorraine Motel in Memphis, Tennessee, on April 4, 1968. After he died, violent riots occurred in other American cities. Barack Obama, an African-American senator from Illinois, was chosen to serve as the country's 44th president in November 2009. By a vote of 75 to 21, Eric Holder became the first African-American Attorney General of the United States on February 2, 2009. Subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell to be updated on our latest educational content.